More buildings have been found containing crushed stone contaminated with radioactive substances. High levels of radioactivity were detected earlier this month in a new apartment building in Nihonmatsu City, Fukushima Prefecture. The stone comes from a quarry in Namiya town, which was designated as an evacuation zone following the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident. Government officials say stone from the quarry has been sold to more than 200 construction companies and was used at about 1,000 sites. Much of the stone is believed to have been used to repair roads and reinforce riverbanks. However, some were found to have been used to construct or repair at least 49 homes and apartment units in the prefecture. At one house in Nihonmatsu City, radioactivity of up to 0.8 microsieverts per hour was detected inside, which is almost the same as outside the building. <laughs> The central and prefectural governments say no harmful health effects have yet been reported. However, they promised to investigate when the stone was shipped from the quarry and measure radioactivity levels in the newly built and renovated buildings. The operator of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has released a video clip showing the inside of one of the reactors. This was the first footage shot inside the reactor since the accident last year. The utility recorded a half-hour video on Thursday by running an endoscope through a hole in the number two reactor's containment vessel. Tokyo Electric Power Company released an edited one-minute version of the video. It begins inside the opening leading to the containment vessel. As the endoscope reaches the interior, white dots caused by gamma rays appear. Reddish-brown walls and pipes are also visible, although most of the images are blurry. Condensed vapor from contaminated water appears as white lines in the clip. The video will be used to determine the depth of water that has collected on the bottom of the vessel. A foothold located four meters above the bottom of the vessel also appears in the video, leading the utility uh, to say that the contaminated water is less than four meters deep. TEPCO is also surveying the plant's underground areas for radioactive water. The utility says it has found 500 tons of highly radioactive water near the number two reactor. The, containment, uh, uh, the contaminated water was found in a pit on Thursday. The pit has a valve which is used for pumping in seawater. The water contained over 16,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per cubic centimeter. That's the highest level of radioactive substances found in this month's survey. The utility also found 600 tons of water containing 860 becquerels of cesium per cubic centimeter in a pit near the number three reactor. TEPCO says the level of radioactivity in seawater near the number two and three reactors remains unchanged. That means that radioactive water is likely to have leaked uh, or, or unlikely to have leaked, that is, into the ocean. The company will look into how the contaminated water got into the pits. Japanese Environment Minister Goshi Hosono says he wants to speed up the process to remove radioactive materials from around Fukushima Daiichi. The accident at the nuclear plant forced tens of thousands of people to leave their homes. Hosono spoke Saturday at a ceremony to mark the opening of his ministry's new office in Fukushima City. The outpost will serve as the government's hub in the region for the radioactive decontamination work. Decontamination is the hope of Fukushima. The office is responsible for the work. The government will consolidate all its efforts in this process here. Hosono says the government plans to set up five branches for the office in Fukushima Prefecture. Right now, 69 staff are employed. Their ranks will increase to 200 in April. Hosono says a timetable for decontaminating the government-designated evacuation zone around Fukushima Daiichi will be drawn up by the end of March. The Environment Ministry says high levels of radioactive cesium have been found in firewood ash in Fukushima Prefecture, northeastern Japan. In the wake of the nuclear accident in Fukushima, the ministry informed the prefecture and seven others that their municipalities should collect and dispose of the ash because it may be contaminated. 
The ministry burned samples of wood collected in gardens from two houses in Nihongmatsu City after being asked by the city last November if the stove fuel could pose a health hazard. The ministry found that the maximum level of radioactive cesium was about 44,000 becquerels per kilogram. The forestry agency last November notified prefectures that firewood contaminated with over 40 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram should not be distributed. The wood in question was gathered from nearby forests by residents. The Environment Ministry has decided to examine how firewood is kept and used by residents in Fukushima and surrounding prefectures. It will check the radiation levels in its ashes.